in this video we will give you an overview about the events calendar pro plugin so some of you always ask me do i need to buy the events calendar pro plugin so it really depends on what you need if using the default eventica and the free the free events calendar plugin it's enough for you then no need to buy but if you need an additional functionality that you can find from the events calendar pro then you can buy it yeah you can visit the the events calendar.com website where you can find the details of the wordpress events calendar pro for example i will throw down okay for the personal you can get it with 89 dollars and then you can see that on the free version you will have month view day view and on the pro you will get additional week view map view and photo view okay so i will scroll down so this is basically the difference between core which means free and the pro so basically by using pro you will get premium support access recurring events week view photo view and map view location search venue and organizer view advanced we get an additional field so this is the difference so let's try to install the event calendar pro in our website i will go to plugins add new okay click upload plugin and now i will upload my copy of the events calendar pro this one i will click install now okay i will click activate plugin yeah so now when i visit my events page again when i refresh it okay now it is still right here i will activate it first you can go to the events settings and then display okay and then i will enable wig map and photo yeah i will click save change okay now i will refresh my events page again and now you will see week map and photo for example i will click photo and it will give you a different display of the events okay that's good and now other feature is additional fields so for example for the additional fields you can add additional information for example i would like to use it for to give a speaker let's say for example speaker one speaker two or additional info probably uh, up to you okay and then after that you can click save change so when you edit your events for example one of my event here okay you will see the additional fields here so for example the speaker one is me of course and the speaker two is my wife just for an example and then i will click update and then when i visit this event okay now you will see speaker one and speaker two here other feature is the widgets so you can go to appearance widgets okay and now you will see for example event countdowns and event calendar so if i click it here and i place it here okay so when i visit my blog page for example now you will see events calendar widget here done thank you